Well, hey there, my name is John Dobbs. I'm the preaching minister for the Forsyth Church of Christ and just wanted to bring you an encouraging word. I was wondering if there's something that you're concerned about. Aren't we all concerned about something? Something's weighing on our minds. Something's uh, always there. Maybe uh, do we have enough money to pay our bills this month or do we have a health issue that's causing us some concern or um, you know, maybe it's something like our our children. Are they in a good place in life, or are they struggling? Could be the economy. Could be our city. Could be not just our city, but our state, our country, our world. Uh, there's a lot that can weigh down on us and keep us kind of uh, worried and concerned. And and the list can go on forever. But being concerned means that we care, and that's a good thing. There's it's right to be concerned about things that need to be addressed in life, but sometimes those, those concerns can evolve. And sometimes they evolve from concern into worry, something that we think about over and over again uh, all the time. And worry can evolve into anxiety. And that's something that we find a difficult time getting away from when we feel anxious about things. And so from concern to worry to anxiety, um, even if we say, I know I shouldn't worry about things, we still sometimes worry about things. And so it makes me think about my favorite, one of my favorite Bible verses, and it's not a real long one, but it's in 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 7. It says, give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares for you. It's a simple thought, but it's something that we always have to work on and and it needs to be something that we consider when worries are starting to weigh heavily upon us. And when we're letting our concerns weigh in on us and they override our lives and take over our thinking, we're forgetting that we have a Father who cares about us. We're forgetting that we need to put everything in His hands. We're forgetting that we're not in charge. And He wants us to bring our concerns to Him because He cares about us. And what does it mean that the creator of the universe cares about you, cares about me? And when I bring my cares to God, I'm turning them over to someone who can work within life circumstances to bring about something good. Not only that, I'm giving my cares over to someone who can carry me through the most difficult days of my life, knowing that I don't have to do this alone. And not only that he can, but that he will because he cares. So how do I give my worries to God? How do I give my concerns over to Him? And there's a couple of things I might suggest, and the one is probably the most obvious, and that is we need to pray. We need to express our concerns to God, to express them in detail, to lay them all out to Him, to give them to Him, give them away to Him, and let Him carry that burden. And not only uh, by expressing our cares and concerns in prayer, we also do so in faith, because when we pray and when we bring those concerns specifically to God in prayer, we are reminding ourselves that we are giving them to a God who cares, who's in control, who has power, uh, all the things we don't have. We can put it in His hands. And as we pray and list the things that we're concerned about, we're reminding ourselves of that in faith. And we do so with prayer, with faith, but also with repetition. Because I don't know about you, but when things really are weighing heavily on my shoulders, I can't just pray and then they go away. Now, maybe that works for you, but for me, it's something I have to do over and over again, something I continue to bring before God. And the repetition is not for him. It's not like he forgot or he needs to be reminded or that somehow if I say it enough times, he'll finally do something. It's really about me reminding myself that God's got this. And so when I continually give my cares away to God, I'm doing so in prayer and in faith and in repetition and also with vision, because when I start putting my concerns in his hands and, and think about it, I'm also going to be looking for his actions, looking for the ways he's working in that difficulty to bring about his will. 
and as a person of faith, I think that we will notice and recognize. Sometimes it's not until we look back. You know, we look backwards in time and we say, wow, I had no idea what God was doing, but he was, he was at work. And so sometimes we'll have to look backwards to have the vision to see what God was doing. But he's been at work in your life, and he is at work right now, and he always will be. So you can give all your worries and cares to God because he cares about you. And I hope that's an encouragement to you tonight. This is from Forsyth Church of Christ. I'm John Dobbs, and thanks for spending a few minutes with this word of encouragement.